Hey, what's up? It's me, Frank Poe. One of my favorite YouTube channels, if not my favorite YouTube channel, Dan Whirl, makes a lot of plugin reviews on his channel, and in the meantime, he shares a lot of mixing knowledge with everyone. Nerd alert. But most importantly, is very merciless when it comes to debunk and exploit plugins that profess to do something that is not really happening inside the plugin. And is a fellow plugin doctor user. Let's go. In his latest video he's talking about the SSL Fusion Violet EQ plugin, and since I've already created a clone of it in Patcher, I thought that this is the right chance for me to release it and give it to you. Of course, I'm linking the Dan World video about the SSL Fusion Violet EQ in the description, and I really recommend you to subscribe to him and watch a lot of video from him because there's a lot to learn, support him, and let's go on with the video. At the end of the video, Discord exclusive patch, like usual. Don't miss it, it's very good. So the SSL Fusion Violet EQ, this name is gonna kill me, is module on the SSL Fusion, the hardware. And, mm, and when you analyze it with Plugin Doctor or other softwares, you just find out that it's a very normal digital EQ. Does it sound good? Yes. Can you do the exact same thing with any other parametric EQ? Yes. So why should you buy this? The reason is probably two. One of them is the workflow. Maybe you like this type of plugin and you find yourself getting the result faster with it. The other one is that you really like to see the SSL logo on the screen. So the Violet EQ is a low shelf, high shelf plugin that also have a high pass filter with fixed frequencies and a fat function that adds a bump on the cutoff on the high pass filter. And that's basically it. The input trim and the output trim don't add harmonic content whatsoever. And analyzing this plugin has made me even less interested about the hardware itself. Because if you think about it, if this is modeled after the hardware, it means that the EQ section of the hardware is nothing really special. Because when I saw the hardware for the first time, I thought that was something more like a passive EQ, like Pultec or Manley, but it really isn't. And since it's just a very basic type of EQ shelving, I took the chance to create a clone of it and actually made some improvement in my opinion because I added uh, harmonic content in the input and in the output. So as you can see in my patch, there are the exact same knobs and they emulate very, very closely the exact same values and curves of the plugin. But there's a plus, there's a drive input and a drive output, which are two saturations. And you may ask, well, why two? Because this patch allows you to drive the input and then EQ it or EQ it first and drive it last or create a blend of the two distortion, the one that goes into the EQ and the one that goes after the EQ. And the type of curve that I used, it's a very, very analog curve, very warm, even harmonics. Let's go. Let's listen to it and let's take a look at it. What about the harmonic content? As I said, the Violet EQ doesn't add anything to the sound, but my patch does, and let's take a look at it. So drive the input and the output at the same time independently. So that's actually very cool. I think it sounds amazing. So as I said, I just added the feature that I want to see in the original SSL uh, Fusion Violet EQ plugin. And I really think that if they added something like this, not necessarily this, but something like this, some driving option in the input and in the output, I think that the plugin will have been a very good plugin. 
Right now, I don't think it's a plugin that you really need to have. Of course, it makes sense to have it if you have the SSL bundle because it's just an extra plugin that you get. And I do think that the SSL bundle has some value in it. But if you ask me if the SSL focus, blah, blah, blah has some values i would just say no because you can do the exact same thing that that plugin is doing for free with any parametric eq at your disposal and you can do even more and better and more creative stuff like i'm doing so not really worth buying the discord exclusive patch is the channel strip oh my god the channel strip from frank paul that's amazing hold your horses this is just a very simple eq plus compressor plus gate plus distortion. The knobs are stepped at 1 dB, so you can really feel the changes. So as you can see, you have low shelf, three different bells, high shelf, high pass, low pass, compressor, gate, and you can deactivate them by clicking anywhere in the square they're in, output volume, so you can gain compensate, and also distortion. And you can bypass the whole plugin by clicking the title. I think this is a very cool tool to have if you want to improve your mixing skills because like the blind EQ2, this patch doesn't allow you to see visually what's behind the hood and so you're forced to use your ears, especially with EQ and compression. I think this is the only way to be able to truly understand EQ and compression. Practice, practice, practice without looking. That's it. So you can download my recreation of the SSL Fusion Violet EQ plugin there's a link in the description for that and you can find the channel strip on my Discord server. See you next time and have a good time. Also, praise them world is the best. Bye. Mm.